Okay, what we got here, uh, this is Steve at Steve's Auto Care again, finally making a video. It's been a while because I've had a bastard of an engine job that uh, is still plaguing me, but we'll get to that at a later date. Anyway, today's job is a 4 liter uh, Ford, it's a 2001 Ford Ranger with a 4 liter single overhead cam motor, and it's got a really high pitch, I wouldn't say a high pitch, but kind of a high pitch, uh, fast rattle noise that's coming from the front of the motor so um, I guess timing chain and so I went and just took it down to the timing cover and pulled the timing cover off didn't take anything else off as you see um, and here's what I found this is the timing chain guide or tensioner right here all of this and uh, as you see I can move this chain shouldn't be able to do that so this is a common problem on the single overhead cam four liters and uh, there's a little better view of it uh, the tensioners just aren't as strong as they should be and Ford redesigned it but unfortunately there's still plenty of these that are still on the road that have the older design tensioners so um, if you have a high pitch extremely fast rattle noise coming from the front of the engine 99% of the time it's going to be that tensioner and so in order to do this uh, properly um, you could get away just changing out the front chain however this bolt here uh, goes to your jack shaft so the jack shaft uh, has no timing or gear dowels to hold the gears in place so if everything slips then you're screwed um, we're going to do this correctly we're going to pull the motor out and change not only this chain but if you see there's another chain way get my shadow out of the way oh, back there a second chain and that goes to this head for the overhead cam however there's a third chain on this motor which is way in the back that goes to there and in order to change that out you have to change out the you have to pull the motor um, as I said this is a one-time use only bolt it's a torque to yield bolt and so you're you're better off just taking the whole motor out and replacing it however in O2 all explorers and I, I believe Rangers as well there's a, a balance shaft here and uh, that's primarily on four-wheel drives and so uh, yeah this is also four-wheel drive and I'm kind of wondering why it doesn't have the balance shaft however um, in order to do that balance shaft chain because there'd be another gear right here that goes out to here and there's another tensioner and a guide as well you have to drop the curd the girdle this is the block girdle and the oil pan bolts to it. Oh, and look, there's I just see a piece of that tensioner and I'm gonna grab my magnet. Ah, look at that. That's a spring that is for the timing tensioner. I know it looks just like a, a, a main bearing or a rod bearing, but it's not. That's a spring piece of spring steel. In fact, there's two of them. Let's see if we can move it over. Come on, focus up. There is two pieces of metal right there, and that's how the spring is made. It's just like a miniature leaf spring. So, and it is way down there, and there's I see more pieces as well. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe, and tell your friends all about this, and we'll have a great time. Bye.